systems. Nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing. <coughs> so we want that. Your a fleet actually will pick up stuff as well if they remember to do so and they will uh, drop it off automatically at the bow beacon so that that's, that's nice so we just uh, collected enough to level up and we do that at the research screen now since uh, we have uh, a reactor upgrade available in this system we shall acquire an upgrade to our re reactor technology and actually to our beam technology because I uh, like beam. I do not uh, care so much for cannons. Cannons are um, a necessary evil in my opinion. Uh, I suck at aiming with cannon cannons to hit shit. I leave that to my AI uh, companions. But beam weapons really really important. And we want to uh, reach at least level two in our reactor technology before leaving here, so we can upgrade our reactor so I'm actually you can you can uh, switch your ships on the fly just by pr uh, pressing the, the number associated with it I switched ships because my 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 no my cargo bay was full and he is going to drop it off so that's fine so there's a smallish container what's in there nothing interesting so off to the next one. You can zoom out quite a bit to get a better view, which is especially useful with the bigger ships. Just to, you can you can see what's around you. Also, I tend to I tend to zoom out at least as far as to see uh, where my beams are going. Now I we have our fi first bit of combat. The UTA wasn't too thrilled about us uh, blowing up stuff. So we shall deal with that. Now there is our first enemy, same class ship as us. Yeah, and it's attacking our warp beacon. Now I do not like that. If uh, your warp beacon gets destroyed, uh, you lose as far as I remember. You can't run away anymore and you lose. So not a good thing, nothing you want to happen. Also, um, lasers. Beam weapons is exceptionally good against shields. Usually you need only a focus blast against an enemy ship's shields to take the shields down. Wait, I'm going to zoom in a bit. Oh my god, I'm playing so bad. But against armor, not the best of choices. This isn't that big a, a deal against those first few enemies, but later on when you, you're fighting the big ships, you really, really uh, notice the difference. So we won. Uh, we won. We got our reward, which is 94 res, which is awesome because now we have actually some some money to spend. Um, yeah, but I was saying, beam weapons they take down shields like it's nothing. However, they do not do that much uh, damage against armor, and you um, you notice this especially with the bigger ships and uh, space stations because it takes a f it takes just forever to damage armor with beam weapons but uh, you take it down immediately if you have cannons so it's a good idea to have it's a good idea to have i i need to turn this this stuff off it's a really good uh, idea to have some cannon ships in your fleet uh, who take over when I've oh my god rogue miners not good not good I need to concentrate here. Missiles, not good. Ah, evade no. I sure hope you're Spoke too soon. There will be a quiz after. So that's important. The way you acquire new ship types is by uh, destroying uh, ships of the, the the corresponding type and picking up black boxes. It usually takes at least two black boxes uh, to uh, learn a new ship type. In this case, I believe uh, one was enough. Which means we can now build this uh, ship type we just destroyed. 
Oh, he's having an overload emitter. Overload emitters are much stronger than uh, the regular emitters. However, they, they have a significantly reduced range, which is an advantage you can... Oh yeah, we just picked up a guy. Maybe you should read this. Crew you pick up have a certain uh, chance of uh, being integrated into your crew. If it doesn't work, you throw them out of the airlock. It's as simple as that. But it seems uh, they stayed with us, so that's good, I, th I suppose. More mouse to feed. So... Shields down. If I would hit him, it would be much appreciated. Yeah, uh, I was talking about the overload emitters. Overload emitters are much stronger than uh, the regular focal emitters, but a shorter range, and you are uh, well advised at exploiting that fact. Now those guys have cannons. Cannons are strong against armor, so as long as I have my shields, I'm fine. And I should actually, I, I want to focus at the guy my, my teammate is firing on. As long as I have my shields, I'm pretty much okay. They are also uh, a little bit easier to dodge, but once my shields go down, I go down. Quick. So that's no fun. Okay, we destroyed one. So... Yeah, and because they, they follow uh, ballistic trajectories, they are, you can dodge them. If somebody aims with a beam at you, uh, you can't really dodge. Or rather, you, you'll be able to dodge them at the, the uh, bigger ships because uh, the turn rate is uh, slow. Bigger ships later on, awesome, but uh, the acceleration, the turn rate is abysmal at times. I mean, seriously. So we are done. We have another new ship type available to us, so that's nice. I think uh, before going there we shall uh, return to the minor space and buy us some stuff. Also, we can upgrade. And we will do so. I wanted to have reactors level 2. And I wanted to have beams level 2 immediately. So, let's go to the space station and buy us some stuff. And then we shall design some new ships, maybe. So, black market. I want that reactor. I, sure hope you're paying attention. I mean, it's not that a bigger problem uh, with the smaller ships. Uh, your reactor capacity. It determines um, how often your, your weapons can be fired. Each time you, you, you fire your weapons, your, your energy reserves are being drained. That's alright, as long as your, your reactor has the capacity to immediately uh, provide energy for another shot. But, once the, the, the reserve energy runs out, you have to wait for it to regenerate. And that is... it's painful. <laughs> oh my god, it's so painful. Um, like I said, with the smaller ships, it's not usually that big of a problem. Uh, you don't have that many weapons. So your power drainage isn't so much of a problem. Um, once you get into the medium and larger ships, uh, that's a big deal. Uh, not being able to fire your, your weapons when you need them to be... Uh, oh, bad, bad, bad. It's not fun. One of my biggest... Pr I, I acquired one of the bigger ship types before. Maybe we can see it? No, we can't. We only can see the small hulls. But I actually want a small hauled ship and I do not want those. I want lasers and the medium reactor. And we cannot equip the better shield because our shield te uh, technology isn't good enough at the moment. So can we? No, you are a small hull. Uh, the the hull size is available to you. Uh, update uh, gradually as as uh, you go along with the game with the missions. So and there we go. We have a small ship. It's it's decent. It's not the best thing. It has two beams very close together. So that's nice. Which means you can uh, accurately fire at targets. 
Okay, I think uh, that's it for this session at least. We shall continue next time. And yeah, until then. <laughs> Bye.